Hello again, guys. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. We do, in fact, have another box to open. And to be honest, as of right now, I actually don't know where it's from. The return address information did not give anything away. So this is going to be a complete surprise for me and I cannot wait. I already pre-cut all of the seals to make this a little bit easier on myself because I decided to think before doing anything today. Alrighty, let's jump in. Are you flipping joking me? PlayStation, Insomniac, Spider-Man 2 people, Sony, I, whoever, thank you so much. I remember when they announced that they were doing like pre-orders or, or whatever, you had to sit in a queue essentially and wait in line on online to be able to order one of these. And you know how long I sat in a freaking line for? Just to get to the very end and find out that they were all sold out. This is so freaking cool. I'm so hyped for Spider-Man 2 and I absolutely love, love all the Venom stuff. Thank you so much for this. I cannot wait to put these on my console. I can't stop looking at it. I can't stop. I don't want to put it down. I don't want to put it down. Oh, good Lord, have mercy on my soul. There was a letter in this and here I am being rude, going right to the gifts first, typical. The strongest bonds forge the strongest heroes. Get ready for a new web slinging adventure as our two Spider-Men Peter and Miles join forces to save the city from Venom and the symbiote threat. Ooh, I, I, I just can't wait. I hope, I hope we get to play as Venom. That would be super sick. But either way, just being able to see Venom in the first place is going to be the best part. The, the best part of the whole game. As a thank you to our Spidey fans, PlayStation presents you with this special gift to help you experience this exciting new adventure. Join us as we celebrate the next chapter in the Marvel Spider-Man franchise, Marvel Spider-Man 2, available on October 20th, and I just got chills reading that out loud. Either the AC in here is super strong, or I am so excited for this game, it's probably the latter. So I finally read the letter, sorry about that, that should have been the first thing. You won't believe this, or you might believe this, but look! Yet another thing that sold out before I could get my hands on this baby. Thank you so much to PlayStation, Sony, everyone out there. Thank you to anyone who is responsible for putting this in my hands. Ha 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 Don't mind the costume change. I was in the middle of editing this unboxing video and I realized that I didn't actually unbox the controller or the plates. Don't ask me why. I think that day, well, actually I do kind of know why. The day that I received these, I received so many bloody boxes in the mail. I've been receiving so much stuff to like build for my apartment since I've moved in here, so pardon me. Anyway, let's jump back into the unboxing of these two buttes. I also have my PlayStation 5 right here. I finally took it out of its box since moving in here. <laughs> I missed it so much. So let's start off with the controller. Ooh, plastic. Oh, bloody hell. Why do they have to make every cardboard box Miranda proof? Oh wait, there's a tab right here. <laughs> Shut up. Voila, it's plastic wrap. Just kidding, you're all here for what's inside the plastic wrap. <laughs> oh my gosh. As always, the quality, can I just say something real quick? The quality of the PlayStation 5 DualSense is unreal. I love how silent the buttons are when you push them down. The feeling of the covers of the controller is always just, I can't even like really describe it. It's so matte, it's so smooth. It shows every single chip and Cheeto grease mark. <laughs> mm. Don't repeat that, I'll deny it. The design of this controller though is absolutely freaking gorgeous and the best thing about this controller and just this spider-man 2 in general if you don't know let me tell you again for the hundredth millionth time but venom is my favorite spider-man character of all time there is no other character that could ever contest that there's definitely some that come super close but just there's something about venom and for me i think it's it goes all the way back to when i played the amazing spider-man on playstation 1 that entire game the entire thing from start to finish is 
my childhood. Like if you took my cadaver when I go and you put my cells under a microscope and you get down to the DNA level, you will see the coding for Venom in Spider-Man <laughs> from PlayStation 1. All right, that's a little exaggerated, but I think you know what I mean. Anyway, this is probably going to become my new favorite PlayStation 5 controller. And actually, I got all my PlayStation <laughs> directionally challenged, what? <laughs> you can see all of my PlayStation 5 controllers right here. We got the cosmic red up there. We got the OG white one, and we got the blue one. Yes, I did purposefully go red, white, and blue. But actually, fun fact, this is my first limited edition PlayStation 5 controller ever. It's also my first ever limited edition PlayStation controller ever. So this means so, so stinking much to me. Thank you so much, Sony, for this. I will treasure it always. It is now going to be my main go-to PlayStation controller, and you bet your sweet booty cheeks that I will be using this controller the entire time I'm playing Spider-Man 2. I do not deserve any of these phenomenal gifts, but alas, I am humbled that you thought to send this to me. I, I just, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't want to put this down, but I have to for now. All right, guys, we're on to the PlayStation 5 plates. I just hope that I know how to switch them out. I did actually install like storage space onto my PlayStation 5 once. I was really proud of myself. So I do have some experience removing the plates. And from what I remember, it's like super duper easy. Anyway. Let's jump in and check out the plates. I'm trying to save the integrity of the box so that I can keep it. <laughs> Ooh, we got another box inside of a box. Oh my gosh. Yo, guys, this, mm, excited burps, man. That's how you know you love it. They're flipping gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that sheen. I love the matte look anything matte matte nail polish matte lipstick actually guys 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 hear me out spider-man 2 matte nail polish lipstick duo let's go i don't know crap about makeup but sony if you need any help just give me a call anyway seriously though gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and this is just 50 percent of it <laughs> math got another one. Oh my gosh i just hope i put them on right hopefully there's no oh wait oh <gasps> you know you're a genius because I forgot that I had the physical edition and I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind that like I should hope that we got the right edition. But you you guys just know. I don't even need to tell you, you just read my mind. So the other side is just all venom all day. Yes, yes please. So we got the transformation. We got Miranda pre-coffee, you know, got a couple sips in. And then we got Miranda one cup, two cups deep. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't encourage me guys. Don't do it. Oh man, I just realized too like the little PlayStation symbol It do be see-through. I don't know if you guys can see that but like that's really cool. I love that I love these so much. All right guys I want to see if I can install this myself a tutorial may be needed for this. Okay PlayStation logo corner up pull towards self Oh, I got it. There's that satisfying little pop Ooh, it'd be dusty in here. Okay, other side. I feel like that one should be just as easy, right? <laughs> Ooh, okay, got the other side, finally. All right, time for the installation. Ooh, there we go, snap one. Side number two. Oh, yes. The installation of putting on new plates though, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And here it is, guys. I can't believe it's actually on my PlayStation. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful day. And here's the Venom side. Oh my gosh. It looks so cool. And I do love that one side is very different from the other. So depending on which way you look at it, you get a totally different perspective. This is a thing of beauty. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, it just never crossed my mind the idea of potentially getting different plates for my PlayStation. I've always been more of a keep it simple kind of person. I don't really 
change, well, I can't say I don't change things up. That is a ridiculous statement because it's so false. But like most of my electronics stuff, for some reason, like I don't really play around with anything customization wise. For example, like my phone, I've had the same case cover on it since I got this phone. And I think I've had this phone five years, but like my room and like decor and stuff, I change that kind of stuff around all the time. I think it's more of a surroundings thing for me. I love to change up the feng shui of the place I'm living in just to keep it fun and refreshing, but items and electronics and stuff like that that I own, I pretty much, I buy it, set it, forget it, never think about customizing it ever, not once. But I can tell you that I've always wanted to. There's just something really fun about being able to dress up your console and like give Giving it themes, maybe depending on what era of your life you're going through, maybe seasonally too. But I think it's so cool as well that my first ever plates for any console, any console ever, is the plates for one of my most highly anticipated games of all time because he is my favorite superhero ever, Spider-Man. And then to have it be the Spider-Man Venom duo. <sighs> best duo in gaming. Anyway, I cannot wait to set this baby up. I also cannot wait for Spider-Man 2 to come out. Once again, thank you so much, Sony, for sending me these beautiful plates, the wonderful, wonderful Spider-Man 2 limited edition controller. I am just so eternally grateful. And between these two things, just looking at it, I will not be able to stop thinking about Spider-Man 2 until it comes out. Oh, and look at that. I'm wearing my Spider-Man t-shirt as well. Totally didn't plan that. Nope, nope, not at all. And once again, I wanna give everyone watching this video, every single person in my community, a massive shout out and a huge hug because without you guys, again, none of this, not, nothing on this channel would be possible without every single one of you. I really hope you guys are excited for Spider-Man 2. I cannot wait for release day because I just want to geek out about this game with you guys, but I'm sure I'll have a countdown, especially over on Twitter where I like to talk incessantly about my favorite hobby ever, gaming. But really all of you guys watching is what keeps me going with all of this. It's your guys' endless excitement and enthusiasm and encouragement that really keep me going and keep me motivated with all of this. Having so many kind and wonderful people in this community, it's, it's just, it's a dream come true. Anyway, I'm gonna stop flattering you guys. You guys know you're awesome, obviously. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video. If you guys are excited for Spider-Man 2, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video. And if you guys are looking forward to my playthrough, maybe kinda sorta, also make sure to subscribe to this channel down below and click the bell button as well to get notified when I start uploading those videos. Now the question is, do I or do I not wear only this t-shirt the entirety of my playthrough, and of course I'll wash it every once in a while. And I maybe kinda sorta, maybe, don't quote me on this, potentially got a cosplay that I would really love to do if I can work up the courage to do that. But like I said, don't quote me on that. I'm just so excited to finally jump back into Spider-Man 2. You have no idea how badly I wanna see Venom. But for right now, this is as close as I'm gonna get. Love you, Venom. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.